My name is Giselle Kalenic. I'm a lead statistician at the University of Michigan's Center for Statistical Consultation and Research. In today's tutorial, I'm going to cover word frequency queries using InVivo. To start, I'll navigate to my InVivo project. I'll click on the Queries tab in Navigation View. I want to be sure that I'm in the Queries folder. And then in List View, in the white space, I can right-click and select New Query. The query I'd like to run is a word frequency query. This is a very simple query in InVivo that allows us simply to see the most frequently used words in the InVivo project. The first thing I'd like to do is add this query to my project. I'll call it Word Frequency Query 1. Next, I select the word frequency criteria. By default, InVivo only looks at exact words, words that are completely distinct from each other. If I'd like stemmed words to be collapsed together, such as river and rivers, I can use the sliding scale to do some collapsing. Here, for this query, I'll slide it over and use stemmed words. If I'd like similar words to be grouped together, I could do that as well. By default, InVivo is going to look within all of my text documents and all of my sources. If I wanted to restrict the sources in which InVivo was going to look to perform this query, I could select Select Items, hit the Select button, and maybe select only interviews or news articles. But for this example, I want to go ahead and look within all of my source documents. I could also restrict which users created or modified by within this InVivo project. Here, I'm going to leave it as default created or modified by any user. The default for InVivo is to show the thousand most frequent words. I could change that to maybe 100. And the default length of a word is one character. So if I leave this as the default with one character, the word I will probably show up very frequently. We probably want to change it to something a little larger, giving us more meaningful words that will show up in the word frequency query. Here, let's say four letters. When I'm ready to run the query, I can select OK to save this query to my project. I see my word frequency query here. To run it, I can right click and select Run Query. InVivo then provides me with a list. The most frequently used word in this InVivo project is down, the next is east, what, developments, here, people, waters, from, fishing, on down the line. It tells us the number of characters in the word and also the count and a weighted percentage. Since we had asked InVivo to go ahead and include stemmed words, InVivo provides us with a list of similar words. So when I look at people, People was used 199 times, and it could have been people or peoples. We can export this list to Microsoft Excel just by right-clicking and selecting Export List. I could send this to my desktop. Notice the Save As type is an Excel file. Then I can go ahead and click on Save. Instead of looking at the word frequency query results in terms of a long list, I can always click on Tag Cloud. And what this does is provides me with a word cloud that maybe I could use as the cover of a presentation or a talk that I'm giving. The larger, more bold words are the most frequently used words. The smaller and the lighter they are in color, the less frequently they're used. If I want to export this Tag Cloud or Word Cloud, I can do so by right-clicking and select Export Tag Cloud. By default, it wants to drop it into a Word document, but you could also put it 
out of InVivo into PDF form or rich text form, web page form. Also notice that I can select particular words. So if I look at the word because, I may say to myself, it's not particularly meaningful to see that the word because was used frequently or also was used frequently. I can select these words, right click on them, and then add them to a stop words list. So I can basically tell in vivo, I don't want to see these words again when running this type of query. In vivo thinks for a moment. And now these words have been added to my stop list. I can close out of my results. If at any time I want to rerun my query, I can right click and select Run Query again. Notice that when I click on the tag cloud, because and also have been taken out. It's because I've added those words to the stop list, and so now they don't show up anymore in this word frequency query. If I want to view the results again, I can click on the results folder, and I see the results for my previous text search query. But notice, I don't have any saved results for my word frequency query. So when you run a word frequency query, you don't actually obtain permanent results. If I'd like to see this query result again, I have to rerun it. This concludes our lesson on the word frequency query in InVivo.